when it's warm out because I am allergic. Um, let's check out this other side before I close it. I'm gonna put the 
those bags back. Hey everybody, I am back with another amazing haul from Burlington. Um, I did grab a few things from Party City, um, but you guys seen me get all this stuff out of Burlington and um, it, most of this was in the grab bag, but you did see me um, get most of this with my footage from my GoPro. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right on into it. <laughs> uh, before I do though, um, if you are watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, uh, please consider doing so. Again, if you are new here, I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm working my way there slowly but surely, but my videos will continue to get better now that I have my GoPro and I'm getting better at editing and things like that. So again, if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I do appreciate it very much. So I'm going to start right here. And these actually did not come from Burlington. These came from TJ Maxx. Now my TJ Maxx has a uh, compactor and they have like a big dumpster next to their compactor that I've checked many, many times and that's always empty. And today I looked in and there was... Um, some bags in there but nothing good but I thought well okay I'll have to start checking this and on my way back to my truck I seen this pair of pants uh, laying by their compactor like under their compactor a little so I grabbed them there are dear eh, they are dirty so they do need to be washed but they can uh, either if they fit my husband or my son I will keep them for them if not I will donate them so moving on to the Burlington stuff I'd didn't show you guys getting this out. I grabbed this and um, kind of popped open the other lid to see if there was anything uh, worth getting out my GoPro for, and there was. So I grabbed this. I stuck it in my truck. It says defective. I'll test it out, but it's all in there. So I will test it out and see if my sister wants that for my niece. And then there were these bottles in there, which I will, again, see if she wants for my niece. Um, so I'm not sure if... She likes these ones or not or what she is doing so uh, but they are in there all three of them are in there and there was a pack of uh, vinyl gloves in there size large so these are really really handy with me and my crafting um, I use disposable gloves a lot and then there was a set of earrings uh, you can see the one is broken but I can use them for crafting and there's two packs of these earrings that are missing a few uh, you can tell on this one is missing quite a few actually so I'll see what I have in there and try to maybe combine them into one pack and add them to my jewelry collection I got going <laughs> I'm gonna be having a, um, a yard sale soon here to dwindle down what I have I went through and I donated a bunch and I have stuff that I'm gonna try to sell at my sale so but this was in there and it is in the box and uh, this is a bar of soap actually that's uh, cranberry scented, or it says, it says peppermint, but it smells like cranberry. Uh, I did see it said cranberry somewhere on over here. Cranberry. So if that smells good. I will keep that up for Christmas. And then this is a guest wallet that they decided to mark on. So I will see if I can get that off. Um, maybe with rubbing alcohol or something, I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be able to get it off this, but I am going to give it a try. It is a Beverly Hills Polo Club purse. Perfectly fine. The only thing wrong with it is that they drew on it. So, bummer there. But they did not do anything that I could tell to this guest purse. It looks perfectly fine inside. It is a little bit dirty right there, but uh, Soapy Rag can get that off no problem. So, a brand new guest bag, does it say? It does not have a price on it, but I know that they are not cheap purses aren't cheap anyway let alone when you get a name brand but this anchor was in there and it's uh this was in the grab bag all, all of this most of this anyway uh the bottom is broken off oh uh, it came apart anyway it just needs to be re-glued and it'll be perfectly fine and there's this collagen anti-aging night cream so i'm gonna actually try this out 
But it's, I was reading the label and it was funny. It says, uh, if I can get it to focus, I can't. Uh, it says a skin cat. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about, but it said that on there and I thought it was funny. I'd show you guys. Um, this is a deodorant, an un unscented deodorant. Um, I will be donating that. I use a specific kind of deodorant and that's the only kind I use. So I'll be donating that. And then this um, shirt was in there. It has this little necklace attached with it. And they wrote on it right here. I don't know. Standard 313 or something. I don't know. I thought it was part of the shirt at first. But I don't think so. I think that they actually wrote on that. So I'm not sure. I'll have to. It doesn't say. No. I'll have to check it out. But it goes really cute with this skirt that was in there. So I'm assuming somebody returned an outfit. It's like a real cute little business uh, pencil skirt with that little slit in it right here so that's cute and they didn't damage that so that's lucky and there was a pair of men's adidas shorts in there I think that they were a large I think I found the tag in the bag and they were large so those are good uh, kind of funny though they're like really see-through so <laughs> But I, they don't look like they're supposed to have a liner or anything, but I don't think it really matters. My kid or my husband will wear them, I'm sure. And then there was this um, portable pet playpen in there. And it does look like it's in there. Maybe somebody returned it. Maybe their dog was too big or they just needed it for a day and returned it. I'm not sure. But it's in there. It seems to be fine. And then these hangers, which I found um, a bunch of these at Allie's, the black ones I found. And now I have white ones which is good because I like to use these to hang my, um, like my nice shirts that I wash and then hang dry. But it looks like there's, a, it's a 25 pack and it just looks like these first two are busted and the rest of them are perfectly fine. So I will be using those for sure. And this little salt and pepper shaker was in there. Um, the one little piggy nose that broke off right there, but I'm going to try to re-glue it on. It's not part of the actual shaker uh, where the salt and pepper comes out of so I'm going to try to fix that up and use those because they are cute and this ball was in there I'm not sure if this is a dryer ball I think this is like a toy like one that is supposed to light up but it doesn't so I'll give that to my kid and there was a pack of size medium men's boxer briefs in there I'll see if the hubs wants those and some of these Steve Madden socks um, almost looks like they were washed and returned um, but they're still good socks I'm not sure what size they are they're quite small but sometimes sh socks shrink up like that like these right here uh, I think are the exact same as those which you can see the size comparison once they're off the thing and I love these socks but I think these are for men I'm going to try them anyway and see how baggy they are on my feet because I don't think my husband will wear them uh, but I will try on a pair and see because I do like these type of socks. They're my favorite. And then these are, uh, again, the same. They must have been on the same pack. And then somebody tried one pair on, didn't like them, and brought them back. So I will see if my husband wants them. Like I said, I don't think he will. I'll try on a pair. If they don't fit, then I will uh, probably donate those. And there was a pack of these masks in there. They're the Neff brand. Uh, there was just one of this kind. And then there were two of the regular... Um, kind of like this so those were in there and I think this was the first thing you guys seen me grab out before I opened up the dumpster lid um, and it says takes battery too long to charge charge doesn't last long so it does work they just didn't like how long it took to charge and how quickly it went out um, but I'm sure I can find a use for that somewhere looks like they have it like Oh, you can use it in, like, working on your car, just sitting out, or they have it in the closet there. So I'm sure I can find a use for that. No problems. Uh, this Fortnite pickaxe was in there. Now, a couple years ago, my kids would have loved that I found this uh, anymore. I don't think they will really care. <laughs> so I'll be uh, probably putting this out at my garage sale for some little kid. And uh, the last few things I found there before for moving on to Party City was this plant. 
it doesn't have the pot that's no big deal I can put it in a pot and this was in there's what I grabbed from the back of the dumpster and some of the words are broken off I'm not sure what it was supposed to say on there. It's out life one blink at a time blink out life one blink at a time I don't know if I was supposed to say like live out life one day at a time I don't know don't know if you know put in the comments below so that I can um, replace the words on there so it is full if not I can always take this paint it over it and make something new out of it um, and this little decor piece was in there so that's pretty cool and the stroller I did grab this stroller this time I know there was a couple people that were upset I didn't grab that big stroller last time but I really didn't have the space my back wasn't feeling good and I knew it would get um, taken uh, this dumpster you have to know when to go or you're going to get beat. And last week I did get beat to this dumpster. So, um, and they took every single thing. There was not a single drop of anything left for me. <laughs> so, but that's not a, not a big deal. At least it was getting taken. I'd rather it get taken than get, uh, sent to the landfill. But the stroller was in there and there's nothing wrong with it. Well, it has a little bit of something on it right there that I'll have to clean off. And I will see if my sister wants it. For my niece, it rolls, it has all the wheels, it stays latched, and it folds up just fine. So that was a good find. And then Party City, there was um, there was some candy in there that I did not grab. It was a bunch of single candies, and it was a big heavy box, and there was a bunch of like racks on top of everything, so it was uh, kind of loud to move anything in there and I've been caught there uh, a few times so I try to just get what I can without making any sound and get on with it but this uh, I guess it's like a pinata a different type of pinata it says a goody gusher uh, so you fill it with candy and I'm not sure I have to look into it a little more I've never seen anything like that before but that is in the box it didn't feel like it was in there but it is in the box <laughs> And then there was three of these baskets in there. One was broken right here. These two are fine. I think they were using them for their own storage, like in their office. Because there was a couple other, like um, like a binder with their paperwork in it and stuff like that in with there. But these are good baskets. And I love finding baskets and totes and things like that to hold all this stuff that I do find. And I can put stuff in here for my um, yard sale. Like I, I can fill it with socks and things like that or whatever just so that it's in a contained thing and not just thrown across the table but that is going to do it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, enjoyed watching me get all this stuff out of there it's a beautiful day today in Michigan it is currently 74 degrees so it's a bit warm for me but it, I will take it over the cold <laughs> we're supposed to have some pretty nice weather um, here the next week so I will take that um, Anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, as always, uh, I haven't said this in a while, so any of my new subscribers, uh, listen up. I, If you are interested in buying anything that you see in my videos from me, send me a message. My email is in, um, it's usually in the description box under every single one of my videos, so you can send me an email and let me know if you're interested in buying anything, and I'll let you know if I still have it, and... I'll get it up to you. So thank you guys so much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.